Hey guys, I uh, just want to give you guys a quick down and dirty on uh, a new product that I just got in. I apologize for the video quality. I'm going to try to go ahead and get a bit more of a comprehensive review with a better camera here soon. But just to give you guys a real quick overview, I just got this in a few days ago. This is the new modular belly band from ICE Training Company and Cross Prey Holsters. Um, I've been wearing it for about the past few days. And I'm going to go ahead and try to give you guys a little bit of a quick overview on what I think about it, uh, some cool things that I found, and maybe you guys can kind of decide for yourself if it's something that's right for you. So right out of the package as you get it, um, really, really nice, easy to order. Uh, you can get it off ICE's website for about 50 bucks or something, so the price is right. Um, I'm going to let you know this. This review is going to be probably a little bit biased because I've been looking for a belly band that doesn't suck for a long time. So right out, right out of the box as you, as you get it, um, it's really it's elastic just like any other belly band, but it's got hook and loop all over the sides of it. So pretty straightforward appearance. Um, and then as you get it to secure your handgun, what you basically have is this leather-backed Kydex front molded for your specific handgun with hook on the rear side. And right now they're making them for, for all intents and purposes, all the handguns that matter, you know, Glock, m and XD. So if you, uh, if, you want to, if you want to go ahead and get, get this and use it for your handguns, this is pretty much what you got to do, as far as I know. Um, so how you pretty much run this is you will uh, secure it to yourself, and then uh, basically you can attach the handgun to it. Now, when I, uh, when I got it, I first started wearing it for a few days. I was rocking it around, and I called up Rob, who... Fortunately for me, as I can say, he's a good friend of mine. I called him up and I said, hey man, you know what would be really, really cool is if you had a uh, kind of the same thing but for a mag carrier. So what I did is I had, I had made a compact or gotten a compact or some Blade holster or whatever or mag carrier, put some hook on the rear side and pretty much attached it to the, uh, the, the loop on the belly band. And he's like, hey man, that's, you know, creativity points, that's great, but uh, they already sell one. Um, so... Pat on the back for me, but they already make it if you want it. Now, here's the thing. Upon further inspection, uh, if you don't want to go ahead and buy it, they actually have a pouch that's actually built into the belly band itself. So if I can see if I can kind of rig this up for you here, guys. They've got several of them. One, you, know, you can kind of put a mag in there. If you want to put another mag in there, you, you could do that. Or, you know, depending upon your, your flavor, you can go ahead and get stick your handy-dandy Surefire in there. You can do that as well. So I was looking at it, and, and I was like, well, what is this for? So it's got this bigger pocket, and I wasn't really able to kind of figure it out. But I was thinking, you know, what you could do is, uh, you know, for off-duty law enforcement or whatever, I'd try to see how this would work. Um, you know, a pair of cuffs actually fits in there, you know, really, really nicely, like almost like it's made to do that. So I put it on and uh, just kind of walked around the house with it for a little bit, and you'd think these things would kind of dig into you really, really badly. Uh, actually, not that bad at all. You can barely even feel that they're there. But uh, for normal folk, uh, they're not carrying around uh, carrying around handcuffs ready to fight crime or whatever. Uh, you can go ahead and get like a SWAT T tourniquet. This is one's from my. I don't have one in my hand. This is one from. Uh, this is one of Carrie's EDC kits from Dark Angel Medical. So shout out to Carrie. Um, so you can go ahead and put a SWAT T in there. You can carry some medical gear around or. Whatever it is that you want to do, that probably that fit really, really nicely in there as well. But the point that I'm making is that you got to put these other pockets that are actually built into the elastic itself. So really comfortable. Uh, and then I've heard other things. You can go pretty much, guys can get like a TDI sheath, um, put some put some uh, hook backing on it. You can get it in Home Depot, stick that on there. Uh, so moral of the story is I've found this to kind of be a comprehensive, across-the-board IWB seal carry solution for whatever it is that you want to carry. It doesn't matter. Handgun, mags, handcuffs, flashlight, medical gear, you know, kind of clinch pick, fighting knife, whatever. Um, really, really great system. So, cool thing is, is uh, it's, it's really nice, it's comfortable, it has a whole bunch of uh, options. And where a belly band really starts to shine is when you're not wearing a belt. Uh, when you don't have a belt to kind of secure a traditional holster, uh, this is what I've been carrying it up until this point. This is a Raven Concealment Vanguard 2. And if I'm carrying my Glock, I'll, I'll run their production models. But if I'm carrying the m and I'll run the one of their uh, prototype variants. Um, but you know, so that's that's really great. 
but it requires me to wear a belt. So for some people, that may not be an option. You know, if you're wearing sweatpants or if you're wearing gym shorts or if you're a lady, uh, for the ladies out there, um, you know, if you're wearing a dress or maybe you're not wearing a, you know, a real sturdy gun belt that can support the weight of a blaster, then, then this might be a solution for you. Uh, really, uh, really great system. So I'm going to show you how I kind of put it on. It took me a little while to figure out how I was going to wear it. And then upon further inspection, when you find out that it actually has a mag pouch and you want to wear it in the right position, then I kind of had to figure it out all over again. So I'm going to try to save you guys a little bit of headache. Uh, put it on here for you without giving you guys too much of a show. Um, so we'll kind of figure this out. So first thing I'll do is I'll get my mag in there wherever it is that I want to carry it. And I'm going to kind of use that as like an index point to find out where I want to carry it on my person. So first things first, I like to carry my mag right there about 11 o'clock-ish. Um, and I'll, I'll spin this around and I'll kind of get this, this portion of the belly band wrapped around me and get it, pull it all nice and taut and tight. Try to secure this down and pull it nice and tight. Once I've got that in there, I'm going to kind of position it to where I want it to be. And like anything else, you're going to have to find out where you want to wear it um, in terms of height, in terms of uh, position on the body. There's going to be, you're going to just kind of have to play around with it. Then you've got your, um, your handgun that sits in this, in this kind of, uh, you know, molded holster carrier, molded, molded uh, firearm carrier. So just kind of this is kind of how it comes from crossbreed. So the cool thing about the belly band is that it doesn't, uh, the, the one from ICE, is it doesn't uh, force you to carry your handgun in some weird position. I can stick it wherever I want it. So if I can get one it right there, if this is where I want to carry it on my body, I want a little bit of a reverse cant so I can snag, it, snag the gun a little bit easier. You've got it on there. You can put whatever other gear you want in there. Go ahead and buckle your britches up. Zip your fly. Snag your... Uh, handy dandy Aries gear belt and you're away. So that to me is a really good system for, you know, right now obviously I got a belt, but if I didn't and I was going to go to the gym or I was going to go out for a run or whatever it was I was going to do or I was just wearing sweatpants, whatever the situation is, or like I said for ladies that are wearing a dress or maybe not wearing something that could conceal a handgun typically very well, then this is going to be a really good uh, solution for it. Um, you know, uh, with guys out there nowadays, um, you know, coming to classes and stuff, I can't tell you, like, if you're living in the information age where you can get on the internet and find out good quality info out there, and you're still showing up to classes with a holster that, you know, one, of course, that doesn't afford you really good presentation from the holster, and one that's not reholsterable, and there's guys that are just showing up with bad holsters, um, for, you know, go out and look, go get yourself a quality holster, whether it's one from Raven or Safari Land or... You know, whatever the situation is, if, you're, if your lifestyle dictates that you think that this may be a good solution for you, then I would absolutely recommend this holster. Um, I think that this is a good quality system. Like I said, it works across the board, whether you've got, whether you're wearing a belt or not, uh, whether that's part of your, your daily wear. Um, but this is going to be something that's going to afford you the ability to uh, comfortably and uh, efficiently conceal uh, whatever size handgun you want. Um, just got to chop down and then pee. I got mags, I can carry medical gear, whatever. Um, so guys, go ahead and check it out. You guys can get them at, uh, from ICE Training. They're about 50 bucks. Uh, again, I'm Stephen Pinnell. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and uh, we'll catch you next time.